how can you be happy in heaven when everybody won't be there? How can you be happy in heaven when everybody won't be there? Short answer to this question is that God makes it possible. God makes it possible. Now, I need to tell you that on this question, it's hard for me to conceive in this life how that's going to happen. But it's very clear in the Bible that it is going to happen. And so let's look at a couple of those passages that talk about uh, the idea that that's going to happen. One of them comes from Revelation, Revelation 21, which has a very detailed description of what heaven is going to be like. It says this, And I heard a loud voice from the throne saying, Now the dwelling of God is with men, and he'll live with them. They will be his people, and God himself will be with them and will be their God. He will wipe every tear from their eyes. There will be no more death or mourning or crying or pain, for the old order of things has passed away. There's a great picture of heaven. No death or mourning or crying or pain. And all of the analogies that we have about heaven are happy, joyous analogies. It's like a wedding party. It's like a worship service. It's relationship, it's unity and reconciliation, all mixed in to one great place. There's this transition moment where everything changes for us. And that's in stark contrast to what we experience here on planet Earth. A world that's full of betrayal and pain and hopelessness and despair and backstabbing and sin and all kinds of stuff that junks up our lives. It's a deep contrast to what we see in heaven. But in between this reality and this reality is this transition moment that's described in Revelation 21 in this top verse right here. He will wipe every tear from their eyes as you move from the world of pain to the world of no pain. And you know, if you've ever been in a situation where you've wiped a tear from someone's eyes, or where they've wiped the tear from your eyes, you know that some things are necessary to make that happen. One is you got to be physically very close to that person as you wipe the tears from their eyes. Second thing is that person has to be very trusted to let them into that zone. And the third thing is there's a lot of gentleness, there's tenderness that happens in that moment. And I imagine that moment when we walk away from all of the pain and scarring and difficulty of earth, And God wipes every tear from our eyes, being very close to us physically, being trusted, being gentle with us in that moment. It's a beautiful thing to think about. And I think about what that moment will be like if I realize I'm there and there's some people that I love who are not there. I'll need those tears to be wiped away from my eyes because it's very true that some will make it to heaven and some won't. Not because God doesn't want them to be there. God's the God who's gone to extreme lengths to make sure that everybody gets a shot at being at heaven. He loves people so much that he pursues us. He loves us so much that he would send his son to come to planet earth and to live our life and to be mocked and taunted and spit on and tortured and killed. He says, I love you so much that all of that stuff that my son went through makes a way that you can have free entry into heaven just by trusting in him and him being a substitute for all that junk that you deserve punishment for. He'll do that for you. But in spite of the fact that God welcomes everybody to come in and be a part of heaven, some people will reject his offer of free eternal life. Some people will say, no thanks, God, I'd really rather not bow my knee to you. I'd rather not worship you now here on planet Earth. I'd rather not worship you in heaven. I'd really rather be separate from you. And the saddest thing that I can say is that there's going to come a day when God will grant people that wish, and it'll happen for all eternity. And they'll be separated from God. And I imagine what it's going to be like to be in heaven when somebody I love isn't there. How will it work for me to be happy? I don't know how that's going to work for sure. But I can't help but wonder if in that moment that God wipes every tear from our eyes, we'll begin to see the world from his perspective. We'll see his love for us. And we'll see his amazing love even for the people that have rejected him. We'll see that heaven is a place that is impossible to be heaven if it's filled up with people who are rebels that don't want to be there and don't want to live life according to God's ways. That that will stain and corrupt heaven the same way that it stained and corrupted this planet that we live on called earth. 
And I can't help but wonder if when we see things from God's perspective, we'll be overwhelmed by his justice and by his presence and by his love and by his peace. And in that filter, everything from the past will just fade away because there will be no more death or mourning or crying or pain for the old order of things has passed away. 